Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and you've tuned in to another live edition of the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. I do one of these every single weekday, and it's usually very, very long. And the patrons, courtesy of chrisperillo.com, get the full TLDR broadcast. It is a new year as of today. Actually, as of a few days ago, I did a live stream, an open AMA that lasted about an hour, and it was pretty awesome. Y'all, or at least y'all who showed up, did I use that correctly there? Y'all who showed up? Can I can I use it that way? I'm, I'm talking to my uh, stormtroopers. They're, they're not answering. Action figures generally don't answer. Uh, <laughs> y'all who showed up, I'm going to say it anyway, uh, asked some good questions. Even asked good questions. Wow. My uh, enunciation, enunciation, pronunciation. I always messed up those two words too. It's a Monday morning. We've been talking nothing but coffee over here at live.perillo.com. That chat room is currently open for my patrons through chrisperillo.com. Uh, a lot of good questions were asked, and, you know, I'm kind of excited about this coming year, and I wanted to make that the topic of today's TLDR. Uh, I've got a few New Year's resolutions. In fact, when someone asked me what my New Year's resolutions were, yes, I gave the stock answer, uh, 1024 by 768. See, that's a... It's a screen resolution, you know, pixels by pixels. It's the, it's the answer I, I give. Actually, that's not even my answer. I'm uh, plagiarizing. Weird Al Yankovic was the first person to use that as a New Year's resolution years ago, and I just kind of adopted it. And uh, I don't stick to it. I, I usually run in resolutions higher than that. Uh, you know, I, I started to think out loud in the live stream, you know, the things that I'm really going to be thinking about changing, that I, that I really need to change, and I've known I've needed to change for quite some time. You've known of my plans, so that's, you know, nothing should come as a surprise, although some people are still surprised. Like, what happened to your tech stuff? They ask this question incessantly, or near incessantly, and it happens every day, because in TLDR, for the patrons, I answer tech questions and then I talk about the tech news in the latter part of TLDR that it's specifically reserved for the patrons. I don't just talk tech with anybody anymore for a lot of different reasons that I'm not going to go into today. So uh, some of my New Year's, New Year's resolutions are to continue with my vlogs. I, I do want to do that at this stage. I do have plans to make it through, uh, 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 try to make it through another year. Uh, but I am probably going to be scaling them back to five minutes. So instead of ten minutes in a vlog, it's going to be halved. My vlogs are going to be shortened to five minutes. Um, I hope to increase the amount of people that I'm able to engage uh, through Patreon, uh, the Patreon campaign on chrisperillo.com, as well as subscribers on Twitch at live.perillo.com. So again, uh, boosting my own crowdfunding uh, 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 endeavors because it's been working well enough uh, to this point. I also want to do at least one new Star Wars video every weekday. That's the plan, and I've got some ideas for that. And I also want to stream gameplay every day, which I've been doing anyway, uh, if you missed the little post on uh, Instagram. Some person asked, what game is this? Because uh, Kim, Troublemaker Kim, as you may know her from the chat, if she's here, she may be asleep yet, uh, she screen caps uh, during gameplay on a frequent basis. And she captured when I made trait level 3 on Star Wars Battlefront last night as we won and as I ranked up to level 48 or rank 48. It was pretty cool. So, you know, I've got, you know, goals that, you know, to me are, are very, um, very steeped or rooted in technology. And it got me thinking because, you know, think about how technology impacts your life. I mean, forget about the gadget, right? You know, anybody can get a gadget. You can walk into a store, get a gadget for five bucks. That's not transformative. It's how you use that gadget. It's how you use the internet. And so that's what got me thinking about the three things that uh, the reasons really why I believe that 2016 is going to be the geekiest year yet. Number one, there's never been easier ways to connect. And this became apparent to me. I uh, um, I crowdfunded a, a movie called Bricks in Motion, and it's a, a documentary, a series of interviews with brick filmers, uh, not just anybody who you know records movies and stop motion movies using Lego bricks. And I am a fan of the brick. I think y'all know that too. Uh, one of my more popular videos in this channel, my Death Star Lego set review. 
It was insanely popular. It's crazy. Breakaway hit. Uh, and then uh, the other LEGO videos that I've done. The Though I haven't done some in, in, in some time, I, I may get back into it here with your help. Thank you for that support. Um, I'm watching this movie, and it, we're talking about the classics. Like, the people who are doing brick films and sharing their video, the stop-motion videos online, before their you know, was Facebook or before there was YouTube. Nowadays, there's like tons of video, right? I'll, I'll get to that in a bit because it, it dovetails into another point. But they used one website to connect with one another and a chat room to connect with one another because they were different people, but they shared a common goal. And so you can use the internet. And I realize this sounds so simplistic, but you can connect with people and use it to connect with people. And I think that is very powerful. Now, I'm coming from a time when we didn't have the internet to connect with other people. And I got this uh, very warm feeling when I'm watching this movie last night. And it'll be out for everybody soon, this documentary, Bricks in Motion. Uh, and they're talking about the nostalgic uh, time of the internet. You know, back when there was, I mean, you had a chat room and that's all you had. And one website where you could upload videos. And we're talking like dial-up days, like classic days. But still, they used it to connect with one another. And honestly, I will tell you, the trend is, even though it's never been easier to connect, I think a lot of people have forgotten about that. It's easy to click from one page to the next. It's easy to jump from one thing to the next. And I think a lot of that spirit of community has been lost with Facebook and Twitter and Reddit and whatever website you visit, you know, even YouTube to a large degree. I just, I don't see a lot of those community connections. I'm not seeing them. I'm seeing users. I'm seeing people. I'm seeing fans. But in terms of deeper connections that you could be making with like-minded individuals, uh, I I'm not really seeing where that's happening, apart from maybe across social. So that's something that I think you need to be mindful of, something that you're really potentially missing out on on the internet. And I'm not talking about being a fan of someone who produces content. I'm talking about deeply connecting with someone that you, you know you, you share this common interest, this this common thing with. And you've got this feeling, you know, with that, you know, that other person's doing something there and they're, they're, you're, you're sharing this experience together because back in the day, we didn't have that. We didn't have an easier way of connecting with one another, but it's never been easier, never been easier. And you can act as that filter. You know, it's, it's not about entitlement. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> man, I'm really messing up the words today. Entitlement. It's not about that. It's not about you demanding that the internet come to you on your terms. It's about you seeking those connections and making those connections, not in a self-serving fashion, uh, and certainly not in a selfish fashion, which is kind of self-serving to a certain degree. Uh, you know, you're, you're, you're connecting with other people and you're using the internet to connect with other people. It's never been easier, but you've got to take that step. You've got to use the tech tools at your disposal. You know, what, what, what use is your computer if you're using it to do spreadsheets? I mean, well, unless you're an accountant, but you can't connect with a spreadsheet. That's what use is an app if you're not using it to connect with other people? Connect with other people. Make an effort to find a community if you've not found one yet. Um, another point I wanted to make, it, there's never been an easier way to collect. This is a, I mean, it's a big deal to me because I, I love collecting. As many of you know, it's, it's, it's very, very much in me. But I come from a time where we didn't have eBay, where we didn't have Amazon, where we didn't have ways of, of, of getting the things that we were looking for unless we could actually find them in person. But I found one way that to be absolutely uh, superior in terms of my uh, first point, connecting with other people, and collecting, because I think as a geek, you, you collect something, and if dust is the answer, you're... You're not living a geeky life. You know, you can you collect something, find something that, that you enjoy. When you see something, it, you light up without knowing, you just light up. You, you get excited. You love, for whatever reason, the design, the character, the story, whatever that is. So, uh, you know, in making the connection and, and putting it out there, I've actually crowdsourced a lot of what it is that I've been looking for. And it happened earlier this year. I was looking for, uh, is it over here? Yes, it is. I was looking for, uh, oops. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't damage that. I was looking for this this little Hot Wheel here, an exclusive. Uh, I was looking for this car. This is what I wanted. I was looking for it. Could not find it. 
Well, instead of going on to eBay and paying scalper prices, I crowdsourced it. I went to my community out there on social and said, hey, I'm looking for this. If you find it, let me know. And you know what? Three people found it. It was great. So that connection that I might have had with this community actually got parlayed into the second reason why I like and I believe that this is the year that people can continue to expand to use the internet to collect. So it's not just about using the internet better to connect. It's about using the internet better to collect. And I'm not talking about the simple low-hanging fruit going to eBay. Anybody can do that. It's, it's when you make that connection with other people and they recognize that you're looking for something. I mean, I all the time, every, every week, not a week goes by when I do not get told about the Darth Vader toaster. Why? Not because people know I like toast. Not because people think I like random gadgets. But because it's Darth Vader and it's Star Wars and it's unique. And they want me to see it. And that's nice. It's also something that I reviewed what now going on two years ago. Uh, but it's cool. Because they've got their eye out, and when they see something, they associate that one thing or this brand or this feeling with me, and I love that. So they're using the, they, in my estimation, you, are using the internet to connect. You're connecting with other people, not just websites, not just random, you're, you're a user and you don't care about that other person. These are other people out there. So now I plan on, in 2016, using that. Uh, you know, if I'm looking sp- for something specific, I'm going to be putting it out there, putting it uh, putting it on my social feed, saying, "Hey, I'm, I'm keeping my eye out for um, you know this particular item, and I can't find it. It's only at these stores." And I, I I've been happy with that to this point. You know, I, I have not been unsatisfied using it to collect beyond the traditional terms because you can you can find these items through your community, and your community could be there to help doesn't matter if you're leading the community. doesn't matter if you're at the center of the community. You're just a part of that community. You're using the internet to connect. The third reason uh, why I believe that 2016 is going to be a better year for geeks, but remember, all these points aren't just like, oh, it's just getting handed to me. Again, it's not about entitlement. It's not just about what you deserve. It's about what you take action on, okay? New Year's resolutions don't just happen. You have to work on them. You have to set a realistic goal, and you have to work on them every day. Okay, to meet those goals and the Internet could be, I, I, I believe it's the best tech, one of the best technologies ever invented. Absolutely. Because of all these reasons. Right. So the third reason is there's never been an easier way or easier ways to correct. This is a big one. This is a leap. Yes, you can connect. Yes, you can collect. But you can also correct. Why would I say that? Well, the issue that seems to stem from people basically curating their own feeds, and I don't have an issue with this, but sometimes we get in our heads an idea, and we want to stick to that idea, and we're sold on the idea, and that's it. And geeks have a big problem with this. Nerds, even more so. We get an idea in our head, and that's the only way. But if we just learn to listen, to... Uh, not just be open to alternative points of view, but actually interact with people who have alternative points of view and dive a little deeper into topics that we believed we already knew everything about. Expanding your horizons, man. I'm telling you, if you're not learning something new every day, you are wasting your time. I am not joking. You are wasting your time. It's more than just school. It's, it's, it's about sharing this experience with others, this life with others. It's about connecting. It's about, yes, collecting. I believe that's a great part of life too. Uh, but that's my life, right? I'm just saying as a geek, collections kind of go hand in hand. And, uh, the third part, see, everything to me just is, is this one sphere of why the internet is awesome and why it gets more awesome the more you use it. And I don't just mean more time. I mean, actually using it. So this is the point I'm I'm making here in terms of to correct, to correct yourself, not to correct others, correct yourself. Now, this is, it's it's a leap. Uh, A few months ago, a few weeks ago, certainly earlier, I was in a podcast, I want to say, Actually, it was in this, uh, the, the channel, uh, the, the, well, my, now I've got two YouTube channels, but I, I thought I was going to be able to do Star Wars gaming in the Locker Gnome YouTube channel and I got flagged for copyright. So I'm like, okay, I can't do that anymore. Um, 
so the the uh, uh, the one YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Chris Perillo, the uh, uh, I did I was doing the uh, the a uh, uh, hangout with uh, other Star Wars producers, and I've got an issue with or have had 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 an issue with the end of the special edition and the re special edition of Return of the Jedi, with uh, Sebastian Shaw's Darth Vader being replaced by Hayden Christensen's Darth Vader. And it bothered me greatly. And maybe it's because the prequels didn't hit me the same way they did others. But I, 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 the topic came onto the floor. I got a little passionate about it. Because I was like, no, it just doesn't make sense. And it was explained to me. He says, well, it does make sense. If you think of Return of the Jedi as a title, instead of being a return of Luke, it's actually the return of Anakin Skywalker to the light side of the Force, which is ultimately what happens at the end of the movie. And the last time you saw Anakin Skywalker in his form before he had turned to Darth Vader was his younger self. And I'm like, oh, man, it just it caused everything to change. I mean, this this thing that I, I had this visceral reaction to this negative reaction to suddenly shifted because I listened to somebody else correct me and explain it in a way that I'd never heard it explained before. And you know what? That opened my horizons. And I am willing to say, yes, I was wrong. I, I I get it. I, I can now appreciate another point of view. Maybe there's something in me that just didn't want it to change. Uh, you know, maybe I was fighting that. But ultimately, listening to this alternative point of view gave me an appreciation. Learning about the Star Wars ring theory gave me a deeper appreciation for the prequels. Le- uh, uh, learning about, uh, you know, how Padme may have died not from a broken heart, uh, you know, and having it explained corrected me i allowed myself to be corrected and that to me made me a better person and it wouldn't have happened without me making connections with other people collection uh, you can't really collect people can't collect relationships that's not how it works but we have a shared interest in star wars stuff so that's that's where we meet in the middle in the in terms of collecting that's how i meet people so, you know, you can you can make 2016 a better year for you, uh, digging deeper into your fandom, challenging your own convictions and your own beliefs. Uh, y- you know, you may believe you're right, but all it takes is just, a, you know, a little a little bit of explanation and you'd be surprised. I mean, I, I, I always reserve the right to change my mind. I always do. You know, any it's it's what upsets me the most. You know, some people uh, still believe I use Windows ninety five because I I liked it back in the day. You know, just because you like an operating system today doesn't mean it's going to last forever. Operating systems come and go, and they change over time. That's a uh, it's a really bad fandom. <laughs> I I love Windows three point one one for work groups. You're gonna pry it from my cold dead hands. It's like there's you know there's inevitably one person out there. <laughs> you Windows 3.11 fanboy! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not making fun of the Windows 3.11 fanboys or the Windows 95 fanboys at all. Platforms change. Your mind can change too, and it should. That is how you become a better geek. You don't become a better geek by proving that you're right all the time. That's not how you become a better geek. It isn't. Connect, collect, Correct. That is how you, as a geek, can have a better 2016. It's how I plan on having a better 2016. And I like leading by example. It is fun. It is fun to do. Mm, it is. So, uh, thank you for asking you know, me you know, how I'm going to make it a better year for myself, the New Year's resolution thing. Uh, hopefully you gleaned something or it got you thinking, because if something doesn't get you thinking, you're just, you know, being passive. You know, you might as well be watching television. I am going to roll into answering tech questions now, as well as talking about the tech news. For those who say that I don't do that anymore, even though I do it every weekday, oh, someone's not doing their research. Kind of sucks to be wrong. I mean, that is just blatantly wrong. It's not, it's, it's flat fact. Flat fact. Uh, you can ask me tech questions, become a patron, head over to chrisperillo.com to do just that. I am going to go ahead and pull up the list of uh, supernomies to make sure they get the credit that they deserve. And in fact, I am going to place it on something that I got. I think I did I do this the other day. I can't remember if I showed you my new uh, Lego sets, which I want to unbox in one of these videos. Why is Wicket barking? This is upsetting me. Because I've, I've got to do this, and I don't want to do it through wicked squeaking and barking. Gosh, you know, there's one thing I wish I could do is is teach Wicket, or I I, I kind of have to teach him again, I guess. He, he may be regressing in his older age. He's peeing in random places now, and and, and it's it's more like, um, 
a behavioral thing that we have to correct, and we can't have a sit down. Have you ever had a sit down with your dog? It doesn't work. It's, you might as well have a sit down with your cat in a monkey suit licking a banana. Have you seen? <laughs> I love the internet, Moy. It comes up with the most amazing things. Now, uh, a cat in a monkey suit licking a banana. Just, just look it up. Research. You, you'll see what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen it already, it's crazy. Uh, having trying to out logic a dog. Like, look. You know, for years, you've been housebroken, you've gone outside. He's behavior, behaviorally speaking, peeing in random spots because he's upset. Because he can't traipse upstairs at any moment uh, when we had to put up the child safety gates for Jedi. That was the big issue. That's, that's when it all changed for him. He just got mad. So, you know, as, as a, a way to respond, uh, he would pee in places. Now, you might think, well, maybe he's got a bladder issue. No, 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 no. When we let him out... Let him hang out for 15 minutes outside, and then he comes in and pees specifically in front of us. It is intentional. That is not an accident. That is not him having a full bladder. Oh, man. Sorry, I, I realize that this is not more of a vloggy kind of update, but it's one of the reasons why, as I said, I'm, I'm going to be uh, shrinking the blogs dramatically. Um, I mean, I don't think we're going to be missing out on anything. It's just, it takes a lot of time. And w one of my New Year's resolutions was to edit video less. I can't stand it. I like doing live video. I like talking with people. I like streaming stuff and interacting that way. But uh, the vlog just, it's its its a, a monumental hurdle uh, to, to, to get over. And many people just don't understand it until they do it themselves. I, I get tweeted on a regular basis. People saying, gosh, Chris, I don't understand how you do this every day. God, I edited one video and it just took forever. I'm like, so I'm just I'm I'm going to be spending more time doing the things that I love and less time doing the things that I absolutely hate. It's a good New Year's resolution. Very good New Year's resolution, I believe, because I'm just tired of, of 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 just dreading every single day for one moment. Not recording the footage, but actually uh, editing. Uh, thank you, everybody, for wondering about my dog. <laughs> I am going to move on to the tech questions now, and that is specifically. For patrons. Today's free podcast highlight was brought to you by all of my active patrons from chrisperillo.com. If you want access to the full TLDR episodes, both audio, video, past, present, and future, which can be up to an hour long or longer, with even more tech insight from me every weekday, plus other bonus content without ads, and support me at the same time, <clears throat> You can sign up to become one of my supernomies too. This is just a brief taste of what I'm producing for you daily. Again, get more through chrisperillo.com.